It's Tanya and welcome to your energy forecast for November the 11th of 2021. <laughs> Everybody. Welcome to the channel today. I'm going to be doing a reading for you from the Forheksa tarot deck and then I will be talking about the metaphysical and healing properties of this incredible rainbow fluorite. So make sure you stick through to the end for that part and as usual we're going to shuffle up the cards. I will do a reading for you from the guidebook that came with this deck because she tells the most wonderful stories and then I am going to Give you my own interpretation of the energy. So we are looking for a card for today for November the 11th of 2021. A little support and guidance. I'm feeling this one right here. Oh how gorgeous is that? It is the 10 of earth. Beautiful card. And don't forget to turn on your closed captioning so you can actually read along as I read the story to you. The 10 of earth. A mother and daughter gather fruit in the orchard that has provided for the fairies for centuries. It began with a single tree planted in a field by one of their ancestors. Over time, generation after generation added more trees. Each generation cared for those planted in the past and added a new tree for the future. On a patch of land that once served a single family, today the trees bear fruit to feed an entire land. The Ten of Earth speaks to creating a solid financial foundation that will grow and offer comfort and support for yourself and others. Have you been thinking about setting up an investment account? Maybe you have been eyeing a piece of property that would then be passed down within your family. That is the energy of the Ten of Earth. Even the most minor investment today may lead to incredible results that go beyond your time on this planet. When the energy of the Ten of Earth is present, you may feel that tug to consider planning, not only for your future, but for those who you love. During a reading when this card appears, you may benefit from taking a more traditional position, one that has served others over time. Instead of investing in some unknown startup, you may be better served to place your money in a more established company. The Ten of Earth brings a message of success that is not fleeting, but instead well-rooted and permanent. Well, there you go. Okay, fellow small biz owners, are you investing your time and energy wisely? That is what this card is talking to us about today. So we can be talking about the investment of energies, or we could be talking about the investment of money. Remember that abundance, wealth, and prosperity are not just about finances. It's also your emotions, your physical health, your mental health, all the things that make you that beautiful being that you are. And as you can see, we have all these lovely little ladybugs that are here and there's mom and daughter and they are gathering up and we've got gladiolas and beautiful flowers that are all around them. And it is just a card full of so much light and happiness. And so it reminds us today that, hey, we're doing okay. We are feeling like we are planning. There is a lot of shifts in consciousness happening on the planet. And I know that you know what I'm talking about, that we have been going through all of this change of energy. For a lot of us, it has been a time of complete and absolute change. A lot of people are doing 180s in their business or their family life with relationship. A lot of people are feeling like all this work that we have done, where did it go? What are we doing? Well, let's move into something different. You're really feeling called to move into something new. And as we do that in the planning stage, it is always really a great reminder to invest in ourselves. So whether that is like the card was saying with property um, or in stocks and bonds or gold or silver or whatever it is that you invest in, that's financial and that's great, but also, are you investing in your health? Are you being mindful of your spiritual, mental, emotional, and physical self? So there you go, that's that energy for today. Now, let's talk about this rainbow fluorite because this is just a stunning crystal and I love this one for you guys today. 
So rainbow fluorite is actually made up of a few different types of colors and so you will often see a variety of yellow, green, uh, rare blue sometimes, and purple. Each one of them has their own energy. But all together, fluorite is a great crystal for helping you to connect with higher vibrational energies. For those of you that work with the angels or spirit, if you are channeling or if you are someone that is um, that is your faith, then this is a really good crystal to help you come into alignment with connecting with that energy. It's also really great for those of us who are sensitive, which if you're watching this channel, I know that you are, and we are very empathic, and sometimes we can take on the energy of a lot of people, places, and things, and this is a really great crystal to help clear that energy out of our body and being. Purple fluorite really works on helping with your psychic intuition and balancing your third eye. And the green fluorite really helps bring a sense of calm and stability, easing the stress of overwhelm and upset and helping you to be balanced in your emotions. This is overall one of the most gentle healing crystals other than rose quartz. And I highly suggest having some in your crystal arsenal if you don't already. And it's a really great one for the energy of today. So grab your purple fluorite, your green fluorite, or your rainbow fluorite, and remember to take some time and invest in yourself and have a great day. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, or subscribe to the channel. It really helps get that energy out. It tells that algorithm that there are other people out there that need to see this and get that energy. So please do share. Thanks so much for joining me and I will catch you again tomorrow for your next energy forecast.